Hi, my name is Sarah Norsworthy, and I am the main Department of Education's Social Emotional Learning Implementation Specialist. And today I just want to talk to you for about five minutes about names um, and how focusing on them and the ways in which they matter affirms identity. And this is part of our SEL for Me curriculum. So names matter and taking the time to learn names matters. And so we can learn names, uh, how to say them, how to spell them, how to both pronounce them and where to put our emphasis and encouraging and giving permission to students and right to our colleagues, um, to people, to parents, to educate us on names also matters. Um, those of us that often have names misspelled or mispronounced um, can really relate right to that idea of, of not feeling like you're really known when mistakes are made um, with your name. So there are lots and lots of um, picture books that are available. Um, four of them are here as examples that talk about names. Um, and we encourage you to focus um, on names and on making sure that we are honoring and respecting people's names um, as part of our social emotional learning um, work with students. To help with that, uh, the, we have created a graphic and this graphic um, really breaks this practice down into four parts. Um, take the time to write a name letter by letter. Um, this demonstrates mattering, slowing down. Um, it allows both our brain time to process the name um, and really allows us to attend and attune to the person who's, who's sharing their name with us. Um, we'll then know it through hearing it, seeing it, and creating it. Um, when we ask to, uh, people to clap their names, so my name being Sarah, it helps again, helps our brains to chunk the name. Um, and with longer names, it allows um, the rhythm part of our learning, um, our ability to remember things through rhythm to come in and help support our understanding of their name. Always take time to confirm that you are saying or spelling names correctly um, and right, allowing um, that agency of the person whose name it is, um, really making them feel comfortable teaching you their name. Um, sometimes we find that particularly students with names that they think will be unfamiliar um, might offer a shorter version of their name. Students who speak other languages than English at home um, may, when talking with an English speaking teacher, um, may work on right making it easier, maybe looking at uh, making their name more English sounding. Um, and so we really want to put that agency, um, use our, right, our social awareness and put that agency back on, on the people who are teaching us their names so that we can be sure that we are um, respecting and honoring them and their identity. And um, lastly, investigating their name. When we spell it, notice, are there, are there silent letters? Um, you can ask if that name appears elsewhere in the family. You might be surprised with what you learn um, as you integrate anything from letters to letter sounds right? That phonic phonemic awareness, you might hear a name story. Um, so open up the space expansively to see where learning about names um, takes you as you um, more deeply come to know your students, colleagues, people in your community by spending time um, focusing and thinking about their name. Um, this practice matters. Thank you so much. Any questions, please reach out to us at the um, main department of education. Thank you.